morning and welcome to the 1st of October. It's also a full moon today. We also have sunshine and it's not raining. Yesterday it rained all day. I am just getting ready to do a workout. And what else have I got planned today? I want to clean a kitchen cupboard. Oh, there's Lily gone under the trees. But anyway, that's what the weather looks like. So a typical autumn day. Lovely, chilly and sunny. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan today. I'll show you. I was also in TK Maxx yesterday, returning things, picking things up. So I'm going to put my hair up, maybe, in my silk scrunchie before I work out. Um, right, let me show you a couple of the things that I've picked up. I can't remember if I showed you this, but I picked up more advent calendars to replace these ones. And if you watch my B&M haul, you know all about that. And whilst I was there, I picked up this little pumpkin. There's some glitter and sequins on it. This was the only one left. And also this little pumpkin. This is just a little plastic one that lights up. There we go, little novelty one. So I picked that up. Not that Halloween looks as if it's happening this year, but I'm sure we'll do something for Georgie. And I was when I was in TK Maxx, I picked up one of the skinny syrups. So these have zero everything in them. I try to avoid this type of things, but once a day when I'm having my lunch, I add it to my coffee, something different. So this is caramel and fudge. I think the one I've got downstairs that I'm using just now is vanilla. I'm not sure, but I thought I'd try a different flavour. So, zero carbs, zero fat, zero calories, zero everything. Obviously made with all rubbish, but there we go. That's that. Picked up some walking boots. I'm still not sure about these. Um, these were from TK Maxx. They are supposed to be waterproof. They feel like suede, so I don't know how that's going to work. Um, they're lovely and fleecy inside. I don't know if they're quite snug. That's what's worrying me because I hate my foot rubbing on the back there. But it feels really soft in there. So, I don't know. I really like them on. I like the fact that I don't have to lace and unlace them because... They have a zip on the side and they were £30 and they are in a size uh, 39, uh, UK size 6. So yeah, it did easy to put on and off but anyway, I'm not 100% sure about them. I picked up another body warmer, picked this up for Luke as part of his birthday which is next month so I just picked that up I kind of liked the colour of it quite a youthful colour for look so yeah the other thing I tried from TK Maxx I picked up a Real Techniques brush which are my favourite brushes I've had mine for years I've washed them they still work great so this is this one this was only 250 so this is a shadow brush um, cause I tend to use the same two for my eyeshadows, so yeah, decided to pick up that nice glittery one. So I need to try that. I'll open that up today when I do my makeup. Once I've done my workout, I haven't decided oh, what I'm going to do yet. I'll probably do a trampoline one. Yesterday I did a trampoline one and a hit. Just, it was just a 15 minute hit and then I did my trampoline workout as well. I think today I'm just going to do a trampoline and get Lily out for a good walk as well because she didn't really get one. Nico took her out for a quick one last night but it was raining. So that's my plan for today. Right, let me go and uh, work out. So I decided, decided, I've kind of been lazing about in the mornings. So new month, new start. So got up early and just got organised because normally I'll wake up and mess about on my phone for ages, answer comments, blah, 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 online shopping, what have you. So I got up early and I did that early, got that out the way and then it just means I can get myself organised rather than 
lazing about and lazing about. Right, so workout, shower, makeup on is the next plan. Okay, the workout has done. Tick! Oh man, that was good. I just discovered somebody else on YouTube. I didn't even catch her name, but I need to check on my watched. She was really, really good. Enjoyed her workout. Oof. Oh, it feels so good once it's done. Definitely need to get out there for a walk. Showered, face on, clothes on. Should do a quick outfit. Not got any shoes on, as per usual. Here's the outfit. So this is my new top from TK Maxx. There we go. Which I am loving, loving lighter colours in the winter. And just my Zara jeans. And I think I'm going to go, I think I need another pair of white jeans because really they get dirty pretty quick as soon as I put them on. So I was like, I think I've got, I don't know, got a couple in the wardrobe. But uh, yeah, so that's basically the look today. You got socks on as well. Very unusual for me, normally barefoot in the house. Okay, better get Lily out walking. This is my uh, walking look. I found a pair of, I'm still not sure about my walking boots, so I put these on. I bought these, right, wait till I tell you, when I was pregnant with my eldest son. Now he is 34 years old and they are waterproof and I had put on a lot of weight with my son and was looking for comfort and these Honestly, I found these in the cupboard. I remember at the time they were really, really expensive, but they literally are waterproof. So, yeah. See, you buy quality and it lasts for years. So I just pulled them out because it matches my jacket, which is from Max Spencer's, which actually was my mom's. But I'm loving it. It's a bit big, but hey ho. And I suffer with my ears getting really, really cold. I've pulled out a woolly headband to keep my ears warm. I actually put my Chanel brooch on it as well, but I felt it was too much. So this is my look to walk my lily. Hello and welcome to, I don't know, the second, is it the second? Where's my phone? I've just done an unboxing. I think it's the second of October. I've been to the hairdressers today. I'm loving my hair. Look, love it. I got my highlights done and my hairdresser decided she wanted to put a nice light one in the front there. Because she says, I've seen you in your videos and you need a light bit right there. So thank you, Anne Marie. I'm loving it. I love it. I love it. I don't go to the hairdressers every week now like I used to because I just, I don't it's I just it's so hard now with this COVID thing and you know although my hairdresser she takes every precaution and she knows what kind of weirdo I am I mean but she really does take all the precautions but you know I just I limit my excursions these days so I can't wait for that blinking COVID to disappear so I can go and get my blow dries every week again because when she does it, it lasts for days and it just, just makes me feel so good when I get my hair done. It's a mirror there, that's why I sometimes look over there because I'm such a vain person. Doesn't See when I used to work out at the gym, I'd always like to stand in the front, right in front of the mirrors. I know lots of people hate doing it but I love to watch myself working out <laughs> in a good way. It's not so much a vanity thing. I know you're all shouting at me or oh, whatever. Anyway, that's the way I like. That's the way I like to um, work out. I need to stop looking at myself at the viewfinder. So, but I'm loving my hair, so I keep looking at my hair. So yeah, I've just done an unboxing on these shoes here, which were gifted, aren't they? Look, aren't they beautiful? So that's that done. So I've had another busy day today. I, what have I done? Oh, I got up, I changed the bedding and I did a workout this morning on my trampoline and then I got my colour done and she did it differently for me just so I wouldn't be there for ages. So she did the two colours at the same time. Oh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Okay, so I'm going to upload a vlog now because I, aiming this year it's only the second day to get a video up every day this month for vlog 
October. I hate to put it out there just in case I can't do it. I, I know I've said it before on my vlog because I hate to say things and then that means it's pressure on myself because I hate to say something and then not keep to it because I'm a woman of my word. But yeah, I've got a video call as well to do. I'm sounding so official. <laughs> Cheers, look. Didn't drink very much wine, look. Didn't need a lot of takes in that video. Do you know, I was talking to my friend B. Rachel and she said to me, I can tell you've had a few glasses of wine before you uh, start videoing. Actually, I don't have any wine before I actually start doing my videos, but sometimes I need a few takes and I need to refill my glass. But that's only two glasses. Cheers. I've not refilled this one. Oh, oh, talking about refilling glasses. Woke up around about 4 a.m. this morning and turned over. I always have water beside me. Turned over to get my water, to have a wee sip of water. I, I think I woke up because Rico got up with Lily at that time. So I just turned over to get some water and I felt dizzy. And you know, if you've been with me for a while, I've suffered with this thing where if the crystals move, in between your ears so you have these crystals in between your ears and if they move it it's all to do with your balance these crystals are all to do with your balance and if they move you get i don't know i can't remember what it's called but you get this thing and you feel really dizzy and you feel really oozy you, you're like a drunk person you feel sick as well and and that because i had it really really bad the last time apparently i had it on, it was like on both sides so i was really all over the place with it Anyway, I went to a physio and I got it sorted out. So, last night I turned to get this water and oh my gosh, I felt so dizzy and I thought, oh, I must have turned too quick. So I got up, I went to the restroom for a little rest and I thought, no, oh, I'm so dizzy. And I lay back down and literally the room was going like this. And I know what you're all saying, how much did you drink? Nothing, nothing to do with alcohol. I was really, that night, I was really annoyed Actually, last night, I was on Facebook last night, really annoyed with one of the MPs last night, Scottish MPs last night, because after being um, tested positive with COVID, she travelled on public transport back to Scotland and she travelled down with symptoms and she went and gave a speech in the Houses of Parliament. So I was really like, I, I I went off on one, so I was like that. Anyway, so I went to bed and was like this because of her. So I, I exercised before I went to bed. You know, Rico was and then I started doing some exercise. Anyway, so I, mean, I was absolutely fine when I went to bed. Absolutely fine. So felt dizzy, got back into bed, the room was spinning, and I actually got a fright i was like oh no i mean it was like it was i was rico rico you need to stay awake just in case i faint the room the room is spinning so i lay there and it kept it kept going it was just happening so i got up to do some exercises that i'd been given by the physio when i went to see her and she says if you feel it coming on again this is what to do so i got up and felt a wee bit better after i did them eventually fell asleep got up in the morning and i thought no i'm really 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 i'm, I'm just feeling oozy although it wasn't spinning as bad i was feeling oozy so i did i tried to do the big maneuver that she did with you hang your neck over the bed i was doing it over the bed at a certain angle to try and align the crystals again that helped me a wee bit and I've just been a bit oozy all day but it's not as bad this time as it was the last time so I'm kind of I don't know if it's just maybe vertigo this time or anyway so I had that as well and I've, I've been dreading it all day I'm just wondering the it's kind of kind of feels all right now anyway the other news is I just heard but it's okay to say Ruth has always loved cats she was brought up with a house full of cats and absolutely loves them and has always wanted a little kitten Ruth just in case you don't know is my daughter-in-law and you know they've, they've got two dogs 
and George has always said you're not getting a cat we've got the two dogs you're not getting a cat yet. so as a surprise I've got such well brought up boys I've done such a fantastic job bringing my boys up he's gone and bought her a wee kitty kitty so she's at work and she doesn't know she's coming home to a little cat a little kitten oh she's gonna be so over the moon but I can't even go and see her reaction because of this bloody Covid thing because I'm not allowed in their house but near there, I could go in and look after Georgie, but not when they're there. Oh, seriously, I'd love to see it. I'm just going to get so excited. I wonder what they call it. I wonder what they're going to call it. Do they think she call it Andre? Uh, uh. Anyway, so that's all my Friday updates. Mm -hmm. I've also been... Uh, on the phone to Carter because I had to send my Jean Clou back because it was a little bit out of shape for all those that have asked about my Jean Clou that's gone back to Cartier and they're still having a look at it so I'll probably do a video on that as well okay let me tidy the uh, mess let me try and what time is it oh I think I'm gonna video call is gonna start soon so um, I'll catch you maybe tomorrow unless I've got unless I remember anything else I remembered something else I went to Primark today as well look uh, this love these bags look at this oh my goodness but I think I'm gonna do a Primark haul none of this has been sprayed but there is loads and loads in there so yeah I need to spray all this before I touch. <laughs> <laughs>